10 bullshit reasons why the moon landings could be a hoax. 10. The waving flag. Now, the flag on the moon is secured on a pole, with a pole going through the top of the flag so it can be extended, held up, because of the lack of atmosphere. It waves because of the energy, the kinetic energy, from the astronaut unfurling the flag. You end up with the waving motion where it's not secured on a pole because of the kinetic energy moving the flag. It does not dissipate because of the lack of atmosphere on the moon. There's a lack of atmosphere on the moon, therefore lack of air resistance. The lack of resistance means that that kinetic energy in terms of motion which is basically the inertia in the flag, the motion, does not dissipate quickly. But the believers in a conspiracy theory claim that in the Las Vegas studio, or wherever it was filmed, it was basically someone leaving the door open. And, oh, it's caught in the wind. Yeah, because a multi-billion dollar enterprise could not afford to close a door in the studio. That's a dumb argument. 9. A lack of an impact crater. A metal object with, well, a couple of people inside, smacking into the moon. You'd expect an impact crater, wouldn't you? If you'd done no further research. But of course, there are reasons why that does not take place. Notably because of the little rocket boosters on the lander. The point on getting to the moon is getting there in one piece. Therefore, they slow their ascent. The final landing is a steady landing towards the surface, where they're slowed by the rocket boosters and therefore land safely, soundly, on the moon's surface. And they do this with relative ease because of the low gravity of the moon as well. So in that kind of circumstance, you can understand why the argument that there must be a crater is completely nonsensical. 8. Multiple light sources. It's been argued that because a couple of pictures have shadows which are facing slightly different angles, that there must be multiple light sources. But of course there is another explanation, one which they completely ignore or dismiss out of hand. That explanation is simply the sloping of the land. An image may appear to be flat, it simply means that it appears to be flat. So what you have is an image of the lander. You have a shadow of the lander going to the right, and you have the shadows of the rocks further down on the image going to the bottom right. But the thing that you notice straight away is the sloping of the hills in the background. This sloping does not suddenly stop in the distance, it continues. So although the lander is on a relatively flat area, and landed very well, you've got to remember that it's not actually on a perfectly flat area. And where the picture is taken from is slightly downhill. So therefore, you end up with a discrepancy in the shadows due to their relative position in regard to the light source. It does not require multiple light sources for this to be true. 7. The Van Allen Radiation Belt Now this is used as a knockdown argument. How could they have gone through this massively radioactive belt and survived? But of course there are explanations. Most notably, uh, they didn't stay there. They go to the moon, they pass through a radioactive, well level, a radioactive belt, but they don't stay there on vacation. They carry on, and thus spend very little time there. So they do get a dose of radiation, but not so much that it kills them, or makes them incredibly ill. So in other words, they're getting a small dose of radiation due to the small amount of time in exposure to it. 6. Unexplained Objects now, there are people who look at the pictures of the moon and they say, it must be in a studio because it's an unexplained object. 
Yes, it must be something like a light fitting that's hanging down from a rope, from a cord, from a power cable. That's the only logical explanation. And yet what they're looking at is a distorted, limited reflection on low quality, which has been blown up massively, and also the image has been affected by changes in contrast in order to bring out the partial reflection of something. So if some such object does exist, or did exist back then, what it actually is is certainly contestable. 5. Slow motion walking and hidden cables. The idea is that if you speed up the footage from the moon of astronauts jumping around in their spacesuits, it looks a bit like they're on Earth. But so what? And you think by speeding up a bit of footage, you blow it out of the water, alongside your other ridiculous theories? And the idea of hidden cables, they find a shadow, and they say, ah, this must be a cable they missed. That proves absolutely nothing. 4. The lack of stars. This argument basically says that there's no stars in the sky, therefore it must be filmed in a studio. The image of the Earth must be simply, well, an image, a painting on the wall, on a black screen, and the moon's surface, which leads off into the distance, is simply a studio fabrication. But the thing is, take your home camera, which is not set up to film stars, and try and take pictures of stars. Oh, you can't, can you, unless it's something which is suitable in some way, shape or form. So basically what you have with NASA is not to go there to film the stars, the stars that we can see from Earth, but they go there to actually film the moon. That's why they went. They went to land on the moon and people say, oh well, why didn't they film the stars? If you think about the logic of it, it's quite simple. They went to the moon and they wanted to film their activity on the moon. Because that's why they went there as a kind of prestige for the United States. 3. The Sea Rock Now the idea is that a rock has a sea on it. And people who claim that this is evidence that it wasn't filmed on the moon say it's obviously a marker to suggest where it should be. Like you'd get in a film studio where things are marked with numbers. But marked with a C? Really? It actually turns out that the original picture doesn't have the C. Turns out there's a slight hair on one of the negatives. The original negatives with no hair on there show no letter C. 2. The layered crosshairs. Now the crosshairs are those little crosses that you get on a photograph. Well, in the case of these particular photos, you do. The thing is, though, some of these crosshairs appear behind actual objects, so they're partially obscured. This seems to be quite convincing, but you've got to remember, many of these pictures were edited for effect, so many of the publicity photos were actually ones set up by the American government they made them look good through the editing process. And as a result, you have these crosshairs behind the actual landers and other objects. 1. Duplicated backdrop. Because several images look slightly similar, with their backdrop, it's been alleged that they're the same studio, the same place. Although if you look at the details, those that you can make out, you find radical differences. The so-called matches are not truly matches. They ignore the differences and simply go by what they can make fit. Out of many images, they find a few that fit and they say that proves it's all in the studio. Of course, some of the images might have been actually produced in the studio or edited for effect. That's possible. However, as I say, many of these so-called aligned backdrops aren't truly aligned. They ignore certain key details and simply accept things that look very, very similar. 